In this tip and trick, we're going to have a look at tolerancing um, the hole going through the shaft. You can see it there. I've placed three base views, and we'll show you three different ways of tolerancing that hole. First off, we're going to go and have a look at the actual hole feature itself. And um, if we go and have a look at the feature, uh, you'll see it's a diameter six through hole, and the tolerance information that's added in is that it's going to be an H7. Um, so it's basically limits and fits stacked. And I've said okay to that. Right, if I go back into my drawing over here, um, there's a few ways we can show this. So the first way is I could go and grab a dimension and I could choose the hole and I can place a diameter six dimension and that's it. Um, this doesn't bring through my tolerance information. Okay, I would actually have to go and tell it that inside of here I wouldn't now place um, limits and fits linear for instance or stacked um, and say okay and it would then stick that information in for me that's a very difficult way of doing things because if I eventually if I came back to the hole itself and I decided that actually um, the tolerance was going to be something different um, when I came back into here you'll see that that state is an H7 a better way of doing it would be to go in and say, well, let's go and retrieve dimensions um, from this view and <clears throat> from that feature. Select my dimension and it'll actually bring through the whole information. Okay, so we've now got our diameter 6 H8. Better than that would be to use our hole and thread tool. Okay. So I can choose um, my hole. It brings through that it's a diameter 6. That's fine. Because I can go in there now and I can actually say, well, bring through the precision and tolerance as well. And use, um, sorry, use the part tolerance. And I'll say OK to that. And OK. Right, that's now an H8 through. Right, if I had to go back into my shaft and go and edit the hole again. Um, and we decided to change this again. So we went back into the tolerance and we actually said, well, we needed a deviation in here and we were going to say we want it to be plus 0 0.12 and minus 0 0.01 as our tolerance. I said OK to that. When I go back into my drawing. Again, this one does not update. However, my other two methods do. Um, and I'm getting better information from my hole uh, and thread notes tool because it's actually telling me that it's a through hole as well. Um, those are just three different ways that you could look at bringing your tolerancing through onto your drawing. Thanks for having a look.